Dear friends, welcome to the sixth tutorial of Manmade Polyper Fiber Series on Polyester. In this tutorial, we shall cover introduction to polymer, polyester, its polymerization mechanism, pro production routes, production methods, properties, and applications. At the end of this tutorial, students will be able to write the equations for formation of polyester polymer, list the production methods of polyester, explain the continuous process for production of polyester, list the properties of polyester, and give examples of applications of polyester. Polyester is produced from polyethylene terephthalate that is PET polymer. The molecular weight of PET polymer is in the range of 20,000 to 40,000. The raw materials used for polyester preparation are one of the components from dimethyl terephthalate that is DMT or terephthalic acid TPA and monoethylene glycol that is MG. Polyester production can be carried out from two routes. One, using purified terephthalic acid and second, using dimethyl terephthalate. In both the routes, polymerization of polyester is carried out in two steps. Step one is referred as trans-esterification trans or direct esterification in which pre-polymer diglycol terephthalate is formed and in step 2 diglycol terephthalate that is DGT is polymerized by polycondensation. The second step is same for both the roots. This slide shows both the steps of polymerization reaction for polyester. In step 1, DMT and MEG are used as starting materials to produce diglycol terephthalate. This is trans-esterification or esterification process. In step 2, DGT is polymerized by polycondensation to produce polyester polymer and ethylene glycol. This is polycondensation reaction. The step 2 remains same for both DMT and TPA route. The two step process is used for manufacture of polyester polymer as it has number of advantages as given below. The two-step process keeps the raw materials during polymerization in equimolar that is 1 is to 1 proportion, gives higher speed of reaction, results in less side, chain, uh, side reactions, gives better thermal stability of melt, good color of polymer as well as better drawability. Polyester is produced in industries by two methods, batch process, continuous process. In batch process, two separate autoclaves are used, one for trans-esterification or esterification reaction and second for polycondensation process. The production is limited and cost of production is also high. In our tutorial, we will be seeing only the continuous process. The continuous process is widely used in industry as it increases the production and also reduces the cost of production. In continuous process, both the steps for preparation of polyester polymer are carried out in sequence. The cost of production further reduces drastically on synchronizing continuous polymerization with direct spinning for producing polyester filaments. 
This is referred as integrated process. As seen in the flow diagram for continuous polymerization of polyester, DMT from silo is weighed and fed continuously to a paste mixture. Simultaneously, MEG from tank is fed to a dosing pump to, uh, to the mixture. Both are mixed intensely, intensively with stirrer and further homogenized with a recirculation pump. This paste is fed along with catalyst and additives to the first stage of trans uh, transesterification by the feed pump. The transester uh, transesterification takes place in two reactors, reactor 1 and reactor 2. The separation of volatile reaction product, methanol or water, takes place simultaneously in separation column. Transesterification continues in second stage till desired degree that is almost 100% is achieved. The product is fed to the first stage of three stage continuous polycondensation apparatus. The first stage is designed as flasher and the other two stages consist of disc reactors. Polycondensation material is transported between the three stages by pressure difference and gravity. The vacuum pumps help to attain the pressure and monoethylene glycol vapors. The polyester polymer obtained from last polycondensation stage is processed either to chips or directly to fiber or filaments. The polyester filaments are produced from PET chips using mend spinning process. As we have covered the melt spinning process in tutorial 5 on nylon, we shall not be repeating it over here. Some of the important properties of polyester are density which is 1.38 gram per cc, moisture regain 0.4% at 65% RH, Breaking tenacity 3 to 10 grams per denim, softening temperature 225 to 230 degree centigrade, melting temperature 255 to 265 degree centigrade. Polyester has good resistance to organic acids and inorganic acids at room temperature, but degrades and dissolves in concentrated sulfuric acid. This is used as one of the identification methods for polyester. Polyester is widely used for number of applications. Some of the applications of polyester are manufacture of filaments for apparels of all types. Fibers used for home furnishing, that is mattress, pillow, etc. Sewing threads for different application. Ropes, wipes, luggage bags, polyester film, to name a few of the applications. These are some suggested references that you may refer for further reading. This brings us to the end of the sixth tutorial on polyester of man-made polymer fiber series. Thanks for watching this tutorial.